Good. Yes. Yes. Um, Alex, you talked really about uh, the defense page, like you guys had said there a couple of tweaks and, and concepts were added, not much. Um, but to have a game plan and execute it are two different things, and that seems to have been the issue the last, you know, five, six weeks with this team. What do you think has been different? And why do you think the communication on defense looks so good tonight as far as guys understanding where their teammates are, guys, you know, defending on a string and really making every possession kind of tough for them? Um, yeah, I'm not sure towards the end of the season, you know, we, we had a long season. We had a lot of adversity. Um, there was almost a little bit of like, we were trying, trying to just start the playoffs already. You know, we, we were kind of in a, in a hole, but, you know, we got our spirit back. We, we talked to each other about, you know, the opportunity we had in front of us. Um, I think I said it the other day in media at our, at our practice facility, you know, it's the playoffs. You got to get up, play for the playoffs, and, you know, you probably shouldn't play. You know, it just comes with the territory. You're playing to win, uh, so you're going to do the things it takes to win. Did you get the feeling, uh, I mean, can you tell that the engagement in defense has completely changed from what you saw when you were injured from the sideline and what you saw late this season? Can you tell? I can tell, but I'm not the one that's going to answer the question. Yeah, we can tell. I think everybody can tell. I think it shows that it's pretty obvious. Um, you know, you don't you don't have a chance against these guys if you don't play defense. And I think we've done a, a decent job the first two games. I think we'd be a little better, but um, yeah, same same thing, man. It's playoffs. You know, you got to go out there and execute and do your job. Billy um, was always talking about moving on to the next game. So it looks like you guys moving on the bench. Yeah, that's something I've just tried to be a, a leader in that aspect just because <clears throat> that's something that I, I have done, you know, over the course of my career, you know, since I was a kid, you know, be able to move on to the next play. So um, the team is, is adapted to that and, and adopted that mindset. And you, you have to, you know, sometimes you get a bad call, you know, turnover that is miscommunication. Like you can't do anything to fix it. You got to go to the next play. Along those lines, so for either one of you, how big was that third quarter response by you guys when they made that run that you guys, you know, uh, it was big. You know, we talked about it at halftime. You know, just not coming out in the second half, lax, lax a days ago, um, understanding they was going to make a push. They was going to come out and be aggressive on both ends. And, you know, um, we was ready for it. You know, um, we had a lot of games this year where we came out in third quarter and kind of laid an egg. You know, this time around, we, we, we just trying to understand the moment. You know, we challenge one, in, one another to go out there in the third quarter and be ready. Tomorrow, you, you sat here the other night and said, I guarantee I'm not going to shoot six of 25 again. You didn't. Well, why not? He's good. <laughs> there you go. What do you say? Okay. <laughs> but, but, but it just looked like, obviously, you're getting your spots. You had one stretch where you're actually just, you know, even attacking Giannis off the dribble in the mid range or deep into the third quarter there. What, what was kind of your mindset tonight offensively? Um, I mean, I just I looked at all my mid shots from game one. And just, most of them shots, my shots, you know, um, I was in here last night shooting, just getting my rhythm. Um, it just got to my spots, you know, and just understanding, you know, I never let a miss, you know, deter me from taking my next jump shot and not being aggressive. You know, I just, I just knew, you know, um, I just knew it wasn't going to happen. Does it, does it take any connections to get in here at night or? Uh... You said I need some connection. I snuck in, so yeah, I just snuck in through the back and got some shots up. We, we know you shoot a lot. You know where the lights are. How they turn it was already on. They just went off when I left. So, how <laughs> y'all struggled so much against the Bucks during the regular season, particularly the last two games? How have y'all been able to kind of turn it around in this series, playing, having a competitive game the other night, and then taking two of them tonight? I mean, it's the playoffs. You know, every guy on this team is a competitor. You know, it don't matter what you did and. In a regular season, you know, it's, it's, it's a brand new start, brand new mindset. You know, you, you can see it in, in all the guys. And, you know, it don't matter if we lost 20 times to those guys. You know, this is a new opportunity for us to go out there and compete. And, you know, we got to take advantage of it. You guys have both been through a ton of playoff battles. What, what does this win mean for the series? What, what does it mean in the big picture? Go to game three. You know, we got to win three more times. They got to try one three more times. You know, there's nothing to it. You know, I think a lot more games to play. Going back to that third quarter, I don't know what. And 
Um, actually, AC said it. Um, actually, AC said it. Um, halftime, just be prepared when they do make a run and the crowd get involved. Just be prepared for it. You know, that's a good team. You know, they was gonna make a run. It was all about how we respond once we get hit. So we talked about it before, and that huddle was just, you know, reiterating. You know, the conversation we had at halftime. Just stay calm. You know, that's their run. How we gonna respond from it from there? Mark, we know you do shoot a lot, like just in general, but. If you say about you know your shots coming back uh, after uh, the game last night or coming last night, like how usual for that, you know, is that for you for a playoff all the time. performance or all the time? Since I've been in the playoffs, I do it all the time. Whenever I get a chance, I'm pretty sure I go shoot at the United Center tomorrow night. So, Back to your team defense. Can I ask about the priority going in with the Bucks? So I know it's the playoffs, but the worst one more turnovers, you get into their passing lanes. They're not playing the bench much. Maybe you're wearing them down. Or is it physical? Like, what's the biggest difference, do you think, that you've been – you played defense good in two games, so. Yeah, I think it's accepting the challenge. You know, they're, they're world champions. They got multiple-time MVP. Uh, Drew Holiday is a, you know, underappreciated guard in this league. Really good player, Chris Middleton, multiple-time All-Star now. Like, they, there's a reason they won a title. They got a good team. So, um, for us, it's about – you know, trying to match the physicality, uh, you know, trying to bring the young guys, uh, you know, first time playoff guys, you know, into it. I thought they did a good job these first two games of matching the physicality, not looking for calls, not worrying about stuff. Um, yeah, it's just about, I mean, it's about competing. We talked about it a little earlier. It's the playoffs. You know, there's no, there's no tomorrow. You, you know, you got to be present and show up for what you got to do tonight. How did you keep you from going down? Because it's hard to just say that it's up with an MCL sprain. What? Yeah, you never like to see guys get hurt, um, especially Chris. You know, I got a good relationship with him, you know, being Aggies and, and back of the years. You never like to see guys get hurt. Uh, I don't know. We're going to have to see. You know, I'm sure Drew and, Drew and Giannis will get a little more action, you know, maybe a little more usage, but their they're role guys are you know, going to step up. So we just got to be ready for some guys to be aggressive that maybe weren't as aggressive the first two games. Yeah, Demar, yeah, that's why we're up against the best time today. Okay, well, that's one. Demar, you, uh, Alex, that's fun when you just said he's good talking about you on offense. So I'm going to give you an opportunity to talk about him on defense because he had that one sequence where you know, I think he was on Middleton and he said he switched over and blocked <clears throat> role play shot behind. He draws Giannis' charge at the end there on that last sequence. It seems like Alex was all over the place essentially. I mean, what, what did he bring to you? I mean, he's the anchor to our defense. Yeah. You know, um, bring that intensity. Um, being vocal, you know, I think I told him not too long ago. You know, I, I mean, off him for for his energy defensively. You know, just him being vocal. You know, um, he a leader when it comes comes to that. You know, um, he gets me going sometimes. I just even if he's not talking to me directly when he's just speaking. You know, it's a lot that I take from him and you know try to take on that challenge, especially when you see him going out there competing against whoever it is. It's, if it's Giannis, Drew, whoever it is, you know, you you want to match. That same intensity as him, so you know um, he's definitely an anchor when it comes to his defensive. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.